Hey guys, Ben F here. Thanks for joining me on This and That. And today we're going to be talking about the Canivo HDMI switch. So if you enjoy talking about technologies, cool devices, or some randomness, please subscribe and let's buckle up. Welcome back guys, Ben F here. We're looking at the Canivo HDMI switch. This is the top of the box. Shows you it's also 4K capable, which is great. This is the front. It shows you all five inputs. Power on the left and that uh, big switch button when you want to go from one console to another. But I'll show you that in a second. This is the input five. So that's your fifth input. And there's your other four. And then on this side is also the power. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. And then this is the output into your laptop or for our demonstration, uh, TV. So that's what this looks like up close and personal. And let's get on over to the TV. All right, guys, we are back talking about the Kinevo HDMI switch. I'm going to show you how to put it into your TV. Luckily, I've got all the wires set up. So... First things first, where's that power button? There it is, where's the power? Okay, power, plug that right in there. Boom, how exciting that is. Now next to the power is the input five, but so I uh, don't need that at the moment. And obviously this is the front, I don't need that at the moment either. So let's take a look at the side here, and that's the output. So my output cord is right here, and I'm just gonna plug that in like this. Now that's in. And then this was this is my fire stick that goes into input one. Okay, that's in easily. And then input two is my PlayStation 4. Okay, plug these things. Now they're all plugged in. Okay. Now they're all in. And I'm gonna turn the bad boy on and we're gonna go look at the TV. Hey guys, welcome back. What you see in front of you is my TV that's on and it's on Fios. So what you see now is my input select. I've got three HDMI. The reason I needed the Kinevo was because I only have three HDMI ports on my TV and I've got five devices. So one and now two will take you to my Fire Stick, which is which is in the input one on the Kinevo. Okay, now. While we're here, uh, you know, I want to play the PlayStation 4. I now use the Canivo little remote. Now you see the numbers. There's five, obviously, because there's five inputs. But then you have the arrows, too. So you have to point this at the box. I'm going to point at the box, and I'm going to hit the arrow, and it's going to take me to the PlayStation 4, which was input two of the Canivo. Pretty neat. Now, done playing, and I want to watch something on the Fire Stick. I hit the arrow or I hit the number, okay? So I'm gonna point it at the um, box, hit number one, and it's gonna go back to the fire stick. Very easy. So let's put it back on TV. I'm gonna shut it off because I'm not gonna watch TV. And let's go back to the other room and we'll finish this out. Okay guys, today we talked about the Canivo HDMI switch. And the reason I needed the switch is because I have three ports on my TV and I just bought the new Xbox and I needed a fourth port. So I did some research, came up highly rated, got it on Amazon. Now a couple things to note, it's 53 bucks, pretty pricey, assuming there are other devices cheaper, but I like it, I've used it for a week, it's got the remote, as you saw it was installed very quickly and it was toggled very quickly and easily. Also to note, it does not come with an HDMI cord. So you need an HDMI cord to go from the out to into your TV. So take note of that. This is the packaging. The front of the box has the device itself. The back has a lot, some details, some information that you might find interesting, but I don't know if anybody is in the stores anymore, you know, where you would pick up the box and read it. But it, you know, it is on Amazon. And also what you see, you'll see on Amazon, it shows you how the, the device works and how it can connect to not only a TV, but a laptop. And then on the bottom, it's got, you know, a quick hit list of things that it can do. So pretty good. 
So overall, I've been happy with it. It's probably a little pricey. I'm going to keep it at least for now. Um, it does what I need to do. And hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've learned something um, or it's just something that you're interested in. These are the kind of videos I'm going to look to do. So if you enjoy these types of things, please subscribe. Hope you, hope you liked it. Thanks for jumping on to this and that. I'm Ben F. and have a great day. Bye.